Your value is not that you're a great plumber or a great HVAC tech or a great electrician or a great handyman, or a carpenter or a painter, whatever it is. The value is in taking care of the customer. Taking care of the customer. Right. right. As okay. soon as possible. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 425th what? episode of Potty Talk. That's crazy. And we're getting up there. Seems like yesterday <laughs> and not. <laughs> All yeah. right. Hey, good to have you here in this episode of Potty Talk and here. Hey, we're going to discuss why customer service is key for growing your plumbing business. All right. And provide some top tips for satisfying customers. You know, I kind of did a little, I made a command decision here, baby, right. on this, mm. and we'll get into this. Okay. Um, from the last uh, uh, episode of Potty Talk, mm -hmm. we, we got into talking about sales, service. I kind of stumbled around that. If you okay. listen to that, you know, kind of, mm. and you correct it and said, really, it's service, which it is. Mm -hmm. So when this topic, of, you know, came up, I kind of changed the topic here a little bit about customer service. Okay. And, I'll, you know, really what service is, is providing for the customer. So it's going to go towards yes. the sales thing. So I'm anxious okay. to get into that. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, but I want to remind mind you here, if you're, what we're going to be talking about here today, or if you're, you're just starting your business or you're struggling with your business or um, you're just not, uh, your business just isn't where you want it to be, let's talk, mm -hmm. all right? Hey, schedule a free strategy call with, with one of our success coaches, all right? There's no pushing, nothing going on. Hey, there's no agenda, side agenda here. We simply just want to learn more about you and your business, mm -hmm. see what's holding you back, and then point you in the right direction, yes. okay? And that can be any one of the directions we can point, point mm -hmm. you in. <laughs> but we want the best for you, all right? Yes. So simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. Forward slash call. Okay. Yes. And we'll have a conversation. Okay. So, so there you go. Hey, so this whole idea of customer service. So, of course, you know, customer service, you know, we want to, you know, you got to do the job good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't spit in their face. Don't. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't, don't tear up their property. <laughs> do we need don't to kick say those the things? dog or whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh. The extreme of not providing good customer service. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is really the idea of customer, customer service. You know, service is really for the customer. Yes. It's for the customer. It's not just something we do mm -hmm. to make us look good and all that, but right. it's for the cu customer. The customer, what does a customer want? Mm -hmm. And these are three things, okay? So, um, the way that, you know, you can take care of, of your customers, okay? Sat for satisfying customers, all right? and, okay. And you do these things that actually will leave them, uh, this is how you get five-star reviews. Mm -hmm. I mean, you work, you may not even be, a, you know, in the case of our, ca our case of plumber. You may be an average plumber. They won't know, but you do these things. Okay, they're going to think you're great mm -hmm. and give you a five-star review. Okay. okay, so what are they here? All right, number one, mm -hmm. okay, schedule for today. When the customer calls in, mm -hmm. schedule the call today. Right. We already have 100 calls on the, on the schedule. <laughs> now you have 101. <laughs> schedule for today. And I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. Schedule for today. Because customers want you out, right, that they want their day back. Now, obviously, I always have to do this. Obviously, if they're want, you know, to do it Friday because that's when they're off. Then, of course, do it then. Right, right? right. Serve, serve the customer well that way. But serve them today. Um, get this get on the schedule today. I don't know if you were going to you know talk about you know prioritizing calls once you have the calls on on the on the books. We, we get right? in a triaging call, but mm -hmm. deal, dealing with what's happening in the customer's mind. It's all about the customer. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm -hmm. No one wakes up in the morning <laughs> and wants to call a plumber or an HVAC guy or an electrician or. I'm going to say it again, just <laughs> in case you didn't hear the other two times. No one wakes up in the morning, wants to call us, mm -hmm. whatever it is I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they do. Okay. And from that point of view, and the reason they do is they want their day back when they do call, um, which leads to what is the number one concern that, that customers have? Okay. Will when he show pulling, up? Will he show up? Not mm -hmm. how much it costs. Mm -hmm. Okay. They may ask that because that's an intelligent question to, to discuss or mm -hmm. ask or whatever, but that's, that's for another discussion. Right. But. They just, their number one concern is, well, can I get this taken care of today? Mm -hmm. Okay. When they call, I, I want to get this taken care of. Mm -hmm. Can I get this taken care of today? Mm -hmm. You're able to service them today, service them today. Mm -hmm. That's great service. They're going right. to thank you. You have great service. Correct. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that also leads to the side of the value. That's mm -hmm. the sales side of things. Mm -hmm. Your value is not that you're a great plumber or a great HVAC tech or a great electrician or a great handyman, you know, carpenter or painter, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You, the value is in taking care of the customer. Taking care of the customer. Right. right. As okay. soon as possible. All right. Okay. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Schedule for today. <laughs> All right. That's a great uh, customer service yes. that you can provide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, provide multiple options. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Give options. This uh, this broke fix thing. or Wait, hold on a second. 
actually, can I say another point on option one? Yeah. I just don't think I've ever done this to you before. Oh. I think we missed one important thing. Um, if you're scheduling, you know, I know you mentioned 100 calls, you know, and right. the, the guys out there are like, Richard, from your lips to God's ears okay. that I have 100 calls. But oh, So you know they're freaking out when I say schedule every call. Right. <laughs> well, right. yeah. Um, but, um, and there's, we've, we've done a few shows on this, but one thing to keep in mind, if you're having to, you know, if you do get overbooked and stuff on a consistent basis, you know, longer than, you know, a few weeks, that means you need to hire someone. It means you need to hire someone. Don't then think, and I know this is the, the norm or what you think is the norm, not you, okay. listeners. Um, you know, I, well, I'd love to be scheduled out two weeks. That'll feel so safe. Oh. That's the worst thing you can do that for your plumbing doom. business. That, that's death. Yep. It's absolute death. Um, if you are consistently getting more calls than you can handle in, in a given day, you need to hire someone else. Especially, especially if you're you're um, the guy in the truck, the only one in the truck. But it, but that that truth still remains as you grow. If you got you know five trucks, whatever it might be, and you're consistently having to schedule for another day or, or you know two or three days out, you need to hire more people because it, the value is in um, to the customer is serving them today. And if you can't, you're not providing a good value and service to your community. So if you're consistently having to to you know either rebook people or, you know, just you're so full so many days, man, get somebody in, right? Also, I know this is after, I'm going to have it as long as you're talking about recruiting, but um, that's why you're always recruiting. Go back and listen to some of the other episodes where we talk about you're always recruiting because when when you get times like that, when you're busy, 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 and you're you know, having to rebook people or just, you know, you're overbooked or whatever, um, never fails. That's when you can't find a plumber. But if you have been recruiting all along, right, and hopefully got some guys in your back pocket that you can bring on at a moment's notice. So anyway, I just had to say say that that if you're if you're overbooking, by golly, you need to be hiring somebody else. Yes, so there more, is so much there. More trucks, right. more butts, all the things. Right. So you can serve more customers. Yes. And that is the idea of the business is growth. Mm. All right. Um, gro- growth is life. If if you're not growing, you're dying. Mm. Okay. I mean, I just, I mean, that sounds so, right. you know, so silly to That's say. It's so if, true. And if you're just coasting, if you're just doing work and you're just built out over, you know, the same, you know, okay, yeah, we're booked out two weeks. We have the same amount of guys and we're doing it for two weeks or whatever. You're coasting, okay? And when you're coasting, you're coasting downhill. Yep. It's okay? so true. Movement right. is life. Right. Movement is life. Mm-hmm. Growth is life. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it, that winds up creating wins. It's a, you know. You know, it's like teams that, you know, when they get on a winning streak, that win- I mean, it actually can, the streak can kind of continue just because of the momentum the of momentum it. The momentum and the of energy it. of it, right? Same goes with a losing streak. Mm-hmm. You just, you're in a losing, you know, so when you're used to just taking jobs and doing that, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, it gets in your head, too. Right. It's in, yeah, it, gets, it becomes a mindset. And when a company, you think, you know, being able to serve customers a day, there's just something that happens there that... It, First of all, you get those dollars today, as many of those, and we talk, we get into that, okay? We talk, um, we talk about triaging those calls and this kind of a thing, so you make the most out of these calls. Right. That just, you, you know, you're riding these waves, these financial waves, but also these waves of just all of a sudden, there's just something that happens that people know that, oh, you know, Attaboy is able to take care of you today. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's just the weirdest thing, okay? True. It happens, yep. okay? Mm-hmm. But Ultimately, that serves the customer because yes. that's what the customer wants. Yes. Maybe that's why it happens because it's what it's how it's designed. The customer wants today. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when have you walked into the store, you know, Walmart, even for a can of peas and oh, maybe I'll get it later this week. Mm-hmm. Maybe it'll be on the shelf later this week. Mm-hmm. I know that's silly. That's a silly example. We're an immediate gratification society. Right. We just are. We want it right now. So, and especially for something that they don't want. I mean, these are for things that you want. Mm-hmm. We want it right now. Oh, nobody wants. No one. Wants, no one nobody wants peas. I'm sorry. Right, nobody no, wants a can right, of no. peas. There's not a single person on the planet that <laughs> likes canned peas. I'm right. sorry. Hey, when the new the new iPhones come <laughs> okay, out, okay, phone, of, yes, not but, peas. But to go to store and think <laughs> I got to wait to get it in, it's mm-hmm. like, no, I want it now. I want it right. Okay, that's now. something I want. Mm-hmm. Well, something I got to take care of. That must be. I mean. Mm-hmm. And it, I just want it, it over with. Up, up, right. Mm-hmm. I want it right now. So I can just get it over, right. Get right. it over with. Okay. Yes. All right. So schedule for today. There you okay. go. Okay. So, now you can move on. Or, to okay. Two. Number two, provide multiple <laughs> options. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> provide multiple options mm-hmm. where, you know, ultimately, you know, again, this is services for the customer. 
Well, I'm I'm serving. I don't want to rip Mrs. Jones off. Oh, I don't, I don't want to rip her off. Crazy. I just all she needs is that flapper, and you know that's that's what's broken. And so I'm ripping her off if I sell her a toilet or tell her about. Like, no, no, you're not. No, you're a hack. Okay, you, you are. Thank <laughs> you're you. Hack. You're a hack. <laughs> if you're doing broke fix, you're a hack. You're a hack because you're not serving you're not serving the customer because mm-hmm. the customer's called. They feel painted in the corner. You want to give them choice, and so providing options. Gives Mrs. Jones choice, gives her control, gives her freedom, mm-hmm. all right? Gives her something psych- psychologically, gives her something to say no to. I know they called you out. They called you out. They're already sold. But they don't want to spend the money on plumbing, HVAC, whatever it is you do. They don't, whatever, they don't, they don't want to spend the money on it, okay? They must rather spend the money on something else. Mm-hmm. And so they want to say no to something, mm-hmm. okay? That's human nature. All right? Well, if you just do, you know, provide one thing, we think it's 50-50, but really it's more like 90-10 if they're going to say no. Sorry, and no comes in a way of, well, I need to talk to my husband, or I'm just getting prices and all those kinds of, that's right. what's happening. That's a no. Okay, that's, they just, that's a no. That's a no. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the reason they're saying no is because I don't want to do it. Like, look, I don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. Right? But give them options. Give them, give them choice, okay? And now they have something to say no to. Mm-hmm. They don't feel painted in a the corner. They got... Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Inside, that's what's happening. No, mm-hmm. I don't want to do the new mm-hmm. toilet. I'm being ripped off. Okay, I'm, mm-hmm. I want the flapper. I'm going to do the flapper. Okay, <laughs> then we got it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, but they feel good. They got to make the choice. Correct. Okay, see mm-hmm. where I'm going here? I know it sounds kind of silly. And, and not only that, silly, but. No, but not only that, um, it's servicing them. Again, this is about serving the customer. Um, you're servicing them well by giving them the options. Even if it is, even if you know as a professional, the plumber out there is just a flapper. It's That's that's what it is, whatever. Go ahead and, and do the, the two options, right? Even if they don't go with it, you've given them, the customer, an option. They may say, you know what, this dumb toilet's been driving me crazy for a while. I just want to replace the whole thing. Whatever. whatever. Let them decide. You may not do it in, in your personal buying decisions or for your house or whatever it might be, yeah. but the customer might. You don't You don't know their situation, right? Also, I don't know if we can talk about price per sec- perspective, right? When you give options, you're, you're giving the customer a price perspective. All of a sudden, the, I'm just throwing numbers out, the $200 flapper. You're giving, you're giving selling secrets, babe. Okay, that are in the Success Academy, so that's why you should join. <laughs> um, so, you know, if the, the flapper is 200 bucks or whatever, right. and to just replace the flapper, and then you've got a you know minor rebuild at, what, 450 or something, right. right? And they've got a new toilet at 800 bucks. All of a sudden, that, that flapper is not that expensive. It doesn't look as expensive. You guys, you do this when you're surfing Amazon all the time, right? You do it. So it's, it's just a, it's a, a mental, it's a, it's a human it's thing. It's psychological, it right? right. Mm-hmm. It's a, it, and so you don't need special sales. That, that's the way we get into sales. So you don't mm-hmm. need sales, just overcoming objections. Service. That's all BS. Mm-hmm. Okay. You just serve the customer by doing these things. Mm-hmm. That's how we close and we get our clients closing over 98% of their calls. It's easy. It's, it is it's easy because they, when they called you, they're already sold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. If we serve the customer, then, then we're able to close the sale, mm-hmm. okay? We mess it up by not serving serving the customer, yep, okay? it's all your fault. Hey, and I want to serve you right now, all right? <laughs> Before we move on to, you know, number three, which mm-hmm. is, you won't want to miss that, God, okay? It's super top secret. I got something for you. <laughs> hey, every professional tradesman knows you wouldn't build a house without a blueprint, right? So why are you trying to build your home service business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Pro Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable home service business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab the Million Dollar Pro Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash free and start building success. All right, there All we right. go. Mm-hmm. All right, that wasn't top secret. That's true. It wasn't. <laughs> so it went into the break there. You said it was super top secret. Mm. No, that's point number three. Is point number, yeah, yeah. Right. Point number three is too. Okay, super but top what we offered there. That uh-huh. wasn't. I hope you grabbed it. It's not. Well, it's forty years of experience. Mm-hmm. Okay, but it's not mm-hmm. top secret. It's not top secret. Okay. All right. So, but we're giving it away for free. You get it away for free. Yeah, we okay. give. We're givers. What can that's, I tell that's you? That's what we do. All, All right. right. So we are talking about cu- why customer service is key for growing your plumbing or home service business. Um, top tips for. Um, satisfying the customer. So guys, again, would love for you to give us um, a thumbs up, um, uh, a follow, right? Go ahead and click the follow button so you get notified um, whenever a new episode love, drops. Would love that. And also a review. You guys know how review works. Reviews are important to your business. Well, they're important to ours as well. So we'd love That's to get a review right. on your favorite podcast player or out on YouTube. Would love that so much. Appreciate it. Okay. So, all right. So first we talked about scheduling for today. 
We talked about so. providing multiple options. Great service right? there. All right. And um, number three, what do you got? Collect payment now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, that serves the customer. So many guys are like, they feel guilty or feel like I that's know. hurting the customer or, mm -hmm. you know, or, or, or don't like the confrontation mean. at the right. end or something. It's not The fact that you're not collecting this confrontation. It's all right. On the, on the dumb. customer's behalf, you're making the customer uncomfortable. Okay. The bottom line is the, the customer just wants to get you in, get the problem taken care of and get you out. Right. Okay. They don't want to see an, an invoice land in their, in their email, you know, a couple of days, a week, a month later, whatever. Um, because for one, you probably are only going to see about half of them get paid because the problem no longer is an emergency. Right. And then they were like, oh, shoot, that's right. I didn't pay that bill. Man, how much did I pay for that? How I need to call my my next door neighbor because they've got an uncle's brother's butcher's dog's cousin that is a plumber and they probably could have <laughs> right. done it cheaper. Right. Exactly. So that it all of a sudden does not become um, as high a value or importance as when you were first out. Right. Thus, does not serve the customer. It does not. I mean, where does the customer go in any customer buying Anywhere. experience where you don't pay? At the you, time you, of service. That's right. Nowhere. Uh, you there's, know, there's nowhere you go. You don't go to Walmart and say, well, send me, a, send me an invoice. Send me an invoice. You don't, you know, Taco Bell, your favorite. Well, I'm going to go through the drive-thru and say, hey, send me a bill for that. Right? right. It just doesn't happen. No, nowhere. You, you don't go and replace your tires. I'm trying to think of different experiences. You don't go and repla replace your tires and think that they're going to send you a bill or get your oil changed um, or what else? You know, have, um, golly, I'm trying to think of different right. scenarios when you, things you go out and buy. Right. Grocery yeah. store, whatever it is. Well, well, well even, um, you know, having food delivered, you know, even, mm -hmm. you know, a food delivery DoorDash service. or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. I got to pay for it right. before it. Well, you, I don't even get it. I don't even see it. They won't even go pick it up until you right, pay for even, it. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> so it's, it's the customer experience. So yes. it's an uncomfortable experience waiting um, and then getting that, that million dollar invoice. <laughs> that's what it is at that point because right. no one wants to spend money on plumbing. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. They agreed to it in the right. beginning, right? And, and they accepted the price. Hopefully you gave them pr the price up front. If you're not, you're a hack. Right. Okay. If you did not give a price up front before you did the work, you're a hack. Um, and then you gave the customer the opportunity to um, approve the work, sign for the work, hopefully as well, sign for the work. You do all those things and then the do bill, the work after you're done. Do right. the work and then all that. But if you don't collect payment, man, all of a sudden that, that bill, I'm not kidding, just looks like a million dollars. Right. So, and then they'll be calling you. Can you give me a, this is my favorite. Um, yeah, I got a bill here for such and such. Can you give me a, a breakdown on labor and materials and all that? Which of course, if you're flat rate, you should never do. So, right. um, but that's, those are the calls that you'll get. Man, I don't, I pay that much for that. What's, what's your breakdown? What's right. your markups? Blah, blah, blah. Right. And you, 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 so you, so you put the, the customer through that emotional, mm -hmm. you know, situation. I know it's emotional for you as well, but I mean, but. You brought that on yourself. Yes. You put the, put the customer through that. So, mm -hmm. you know, the great, you know, part of providing a great service is having the customer pay when you get done. Correct. Okay. And accept credit right. cards. Right. Okay. Don't, don't point, paint the customer into a corner where they have to write a check. Make so them easy for We had you. to do something the other day and they said it required a check. And I'm like, yeah, what? we don't even First have all, checks. Who? Right. We don't, we don't own any checks at all. Right. So any, if we do make any. Type no, we're of, old school. Right. I mean, well, you, I am, you're not. <laughs> but right. don't, don't paint them in the corner where they have to write a check. Have some sort of um, merchant service processing. And it's, it's something like um, uh, Square. That's the easiest one to get. Guys, and there's nothing to getting one of those. And they send you the little card swiper, you put it on your tablet, bada boom, bada bing, um, and then you get payment. So make sure you do um, give the customer ability to, um, to pay with credit card. So, That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, so collect payment now. Money in the bank today. Money. Not only is it good for the customer, by golly, it's good for you because then you're not a right. bank. Then you're not chasing the money around, hoping that they'll pay. Then you're not having to remember, oh, shoot, I got to send out invoices this week. Oh, I'm too tired because I've got blah, 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 all these other things that you need to do because you're wearing all the hats in the business, right? So it's like, oh, man, to sit down at the computer and send out an invoice and blah, blah, blah. Right. So. Service is about the customer. Mm -hmm. Make it about the customer. What make it about you know what makes um, the experience easier for them, emotionally easier you know for them, mm -hmm. as easy as possible for them. Mm -hmm. Do those kinds of things. So of course, you know, 
it's like, <laughs> you know, I am with, the, you know, uh-huh. the football players, you know, that score, they're doing all the dancing and all that. Well, of course you're scoring or, you yeah. know, you're, you're nine foot tall and you're dunking the ball. Like <laughs> right. you've never done it before. Right. And you're you know, all like, happy right, dancing right, and right. stuff. Shut Which up. is cool. I mean, I get it. I, I mean, the most no. of I don't, you know, it's fun, but, but of course you're expected to do that. If you're nine right. foot tall or even, you know, seven, what, six something, Ryan, you can't dunk the ball and you're on a basketball team. Right. You suck. Right. You do. You just, okay. you absolutely suck. And so in our area, you'd be a hack, you know, <laughs> and in the trades, you're, you're a hack. So mm-hmm. if you're not, if you're not, you know, keeping the house clean when you work, your work area clean and not tearing things up mm-hmm. and you're doing your trade to, you know, professionally and to the, the best of your ability you know, as, as a professional, you, of course you could, we, we're doing that. Mm-hmm. But service, when we talk about providing service, it's about, you know, yes, doing those customer. things. But what takes care of the customer? Mm-hmm. You know, so scheduling for the day. Let yep. them get the problem taken care of the day mm-hmm. and, and done with. Providing them options, which gives them choice so mm-hmm. they feel in control in a situation that they're out of control. And then let them pay you right then mm-hmm. to get you out of their hair and you down the road right. so they can be done with this, mm-hmm. okay? And just feel good about it. Oh, they got out here today. Mm-hmm. Attaboy Plumbing got out here today. They were great. They were amazing. They didn't know anything that you did plumbing-wise. Nope. But you were great. In and out. Love problem. these guys. Five stars. They're the best. Use them. Mm-hmm. Problem taken care of today. Right. There we go. Okay. Okay. Hey, if you're struggling with any of these things that we're talking about, okay? I mean, you're just, maybe you're just starting out or, you know, you're, you're just, you know, again, you're struggling, or you're just, you know, you, you've been around the block a few times, but you, know, you want to take your, your organization to the next level. Let, let's talk, okay? We're here to help, all right? Help Let's us schedule, help you. That's right. Schedule your strategy call, all right? We'll just find out more about you and your business, all right? Find out through our ears. You know, it helps to have someone out from the outside listening in. Oh, there's, there's something that you're struggling with, and then we'll get you pointing in the right direction, okay? It's that easy. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call and schedule your strategy call today. Okay. Today. Okay, I don't know if they're available today. A schedule, I, you can schedule it today. Can schedule today. Okay. Schedule today. Yeah. Hey guys, yep. <laughs> we're, we, we love talking with you. Okay, so there we go. Okay. Hey, great stuff here. Customer service. Mm-hmm. Hey, hopefully, I mean, I kind of went at a different angle here. I mean, because that's the real angle. But we're not, we, we, we get stuck thinking the other way. But this is how you want to think. Just okay? serve the customer. So maybe you might have to listen again. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> but this is serving the customer. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Hey, before I let you go. All right. It was great hanging out together here. But as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully, wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. Mm-hmm. To plumb like a champion. Hi, everybody.